Well, you know, so I was gone for about a week uh, working in D.C., and uh, when I last left, everything was fine. This is where uh, my partner's dad and sister live. We were planning on coming up here this weekend for a barbecue. It's kind of where, where we spend weekends. I've had this place for about 12 years, and just without any warning, last week we got word that there's fracking going on, like right near my driveway. Um, so I haven't been there yet, and I'm going to be seeing it for the first time, but I'm... Uh, I've been trying to fight it all week, but like they're already saying the, the you know, they've already drilled one of the wells or something. And without any warning, any notice, basically there's just a huge drilling operation like right in our driveway. You know, I'm emotionally attached because I've seen a lot of, uh, of, you know, me growing up and, you know, well before I was ever in, you know, elected office. And so this has been, you know, I thought this would be a family, you know, place for decades or generations. Um, that's what my hope was, and uh, you know, it doesn't look like that's gonna gonna happen. Uh, it's now in the middle of an industrial zone, a mining zone. Couldn't be any closer. It's right at the foot of the driveway. Is a reminder every time you come and leave of uh, what's happened to the neighborhood. We don't even know what is going on. We don't know what chemicals are like there in these trucks and drums at the foot of our driveway. Uh, we don't have any information. Uh, about this. This is apparently uh, some company, Sundance Energy. I think they're an Australian company that's doing the fracking. You know, I fell in love with the place. Uh, beautiful uh, lake right in the backyard. As you walk up the creek, there's actually some like old like cars, junk cars that are like partially buried and you can explore them. It's our pump house. We have, I've had a crane that comes every year. Uh, I think the fracking noises have scared, have scared her off, but there's turtles in the lake, fish. Anyway, that is, that's the oil rig, or that's the drilling rig right there. Um, and my property is across the street. We're gonna see this in a second. I mean, look at that thing. This is like, um, basically we're living in an oil, oil zone now. So look at this, there's like, this is, this is my, <laughs> this is my detached garage and guest house right here, right here. That's our storage shed. This is the drilling rig. So this is our guest house. Um, my partner Marlon always has a, a big Halloween gathering here every year, which is a lot of fun. There's heavy truck traffic. That's a light truck. There's, uh, I mean, there's tanker heavy truck traffic. You can see tankers there. I don't know what's in those tanks. Who knows what chemicals are in there? Um, they're building this uh, sound mitigation thing, as you can see. It's still pretty darn loud. It's just a piece of cloth they're putting up. There's not a lot of legal ability to stop them. Here they are doing it. I mean, we weren't able to get a temporary restraining order. They're building it. Uh, by the time we can even figure out if there's any evidence that they're violating any of the laws, they'll have drilled their well. It's a done deal. I mean, the property, it's done. It's, 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 it's over. You know, this part of our Colorado dream is over. Having this personal experience uh, allows me to speak with my voice and my story alongside that of others. It's pretty much too late for us. I mean, it was too late when they started drilling. We can try to do what we can through the courts, but basically they're drilling there and this place will never be the same. Uh, for better or for worse, you know, I think that uh, the universe here has conspired to help make me a poster boy for the face of fracking. And I'll use the increased visibility to help pass sensible regulations. Um, I always have talked about these issues and fought for these issues, but now I have the personal story of how it's impacted my family, and I hope that it makes our advocacy efforts stronger so that this doesn't happen to more families across Colorado and across America.